Okay, so this question's about uh, about organic, and it says which compound could not be produced by reacting two bromo three methylbutane with sodium hydroxide. And we need to remember, obviously, that you know th there's two types of reaction that can happen with sodium hydroxide with a haloalkane, and that's really what the testing is on here. So. The two reactions that can take place are either nucleophilic substitution when it's in aqueous conditions and elimination reaction where the OH actually acts as a base, not a nucleophile. And uh, in that elimination reaction, you'd form an alkene. So we can see a, a mixture of products of alkenes and an alcohol as well at the bottom. So first step with this, there's no shortcuts really here. Um, not to begin with anyway, we need to draw out 2-bromo-3-methylbutane. So butane is 4, so we'll go bromo, and then this methyl group we can attach here, yeah, like so. Around the rest of the molecules, we need these hydrogens. We need to see what's going on with the hydrogens. It's particularly important for this question. So let's do elimination first. So if it was in ethanolic conditions, it would cause an elimination reaction. And what we need to understand is the kind of mechanism that's going to take place here. Well, you've got the OH minus like this. And what essentially is going to happen is it's going to, we need to be able to look at the halogen bromo group here, the carbon it's attached to. In order for it to make a double bond on the next carbon, we're going to need to remove one of the adjacent carbons, uh, hydrogens, sorry. So we're looking at the carbon that is attached to going across to any carbons that we can see there. And we can see if there's any hydrogens attached. If there are hydrogens attached there, these hydrogens could be removed. This is not a hydrogen that could be removed. Okay. So let's start off with this one here. So what about if we remove this one? Well, this would collapse into form the double bond and the bromine group would leave. And we can say, okay, well, what's this product going to be? And what we can see forming here, so we start off with our original four membered with our methyl group here on this side like this. And we can say this is now turned into a double bond. And the hydrogen's been removed from here and the bromine group's left. So what would we refer to this as? Well, it's but, one, two, three, four, and the uh, alkene group can be found in butyrene, and we could say the lowest possibility for this one is going to be the 2-methyl. So this is a potential product, 2-methyl butyrene. What about if the OH- this time was to remove the other hydrogen? On the next adjacent carbon, this would cause the double bond over here, and again for the bromo to leave. So we can say, okay, well, what's the product going to be over here? So we redraw our molecule that we had, with our CH3 here. And this time we can see that the double bond will be forming on the first carbon, so it will be referred to as but 1e. And the methyl group will actually be attached this time to the lowest one would be 3, 3 methyl one So this one's correct. Now at this point you could probably work out that there's not much possibility um, for another type of reaction to happen in terms of elimination. But over here I'll do the nucleophilic substitution as well for complete. And this time what will happen is the OH will act as a nucleophile, the OH minus, and it will attack the carbon and again, the bromo will leave. We'll see a substitution reaction. So what would the product be this time? Well, we won't see any alkene or anything double bond forming this time because all that's happened is a substitution reaction. So the bromo and the alcohol group would have swapped like this. So what would this be called? Well, we'd refer to this one as um, three methyl on that three carbon, butan two of, which is this one. So that leaves us with this one here as a product that couldn't be formed in this reaction.